Hi everyone, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to be creating artwork based on artist Wayne Tebow. What you'll be needing today is a white piece of paper. There should be one in your art folder labeled Wayne Tebow that you can use. But if you do not have this paper, any other white piece of paper that you have at home will work. I'm just going to take off my label and get rid of that staple. We will also be needing a pencil today, and that is it. Today we are going to sketch out our drawing, and then next week we are going to add color. We got to look at all of the colorful and bright and delicious artwork that Wayne Tebow was making. So today we're going to create our own version of one of his pictures, and we're going to be inspired by his dessert theme, and we are going to draw a three-dimensional looking cake. So we are going to think about shapes in a way that we can draw them on a flat 2D surface so they look three-dimensional or like they take up space. Now today we're going to draw a cake. I do have a couple papers on canvas that show you how to draw a three-dimensional cake. And the one I'm going to be drawing today is going to have a slice taken out of it, but you can draw yours however you would like. I'm going to start by drawing a nice big oval shape towards the top of my paper. And now this oval is going to be the top of our cake. Now that we have the top half of our cake, we are going to draw these sides. So from one end of my oval, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down. Now however long you make this line is how tall your cake is going to be. So you can decide how, how large you'd like your cake to look. I think that looks pretty good for mine because I'm going to put a little stand on the bottom. So I want enough space on the bottom to add that. If you want your cake just sitting on a plate, you can make a really, really tall cake and a really tiny plate at the bottom too. Now I'm going to draw the bottom part of my cake, and this is just going to be a smile line coming across, connecting those two side lines that I drew. And you want it to dip down a little bit so it is a little curvy and going back up on both sides. So now we've created like a cylinder on our paper, a three-dimensional shape on a flat two-dimensional surface, just by drawing that simple oval and those lines and that bottom curved line. Now I want my cake to look like it has a slice taken out of it. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to draw another straight line from the top to the bottom. And then I'm going to decide how big I want my slice of cake to be. I want mine to be pretty big. So I think I'm going to draw my second straight line right there from the top to the bottom. And then I'm going to look for the center point of my oval. I think that looks like a good spot. And from that center point, I'm going to draw a straight line out to my first side line that I drew and then another straight line coming down to that other edge. I can erase that little dot. And now this is going to be our slice coming out of our cake. So we can actually erase this line right here, that top part of our oval that we had. Because if we took a slice out, that whole top line is going to be missing because this is going to be like the hole where the cake slice used to be. And I'm also going to draw from this point at the bottom a another diagonal line going towards the center. And I want this line that I'm going to be drawing this diagonal line to have that same angle as the one up here. It's going to be parallel. So I want them both going in the same direction. So it's going to go up a little bit, almost like that. So you can see they're both going in that same direction. I don't want my line going down. I want it going in towards the center like that original line that I drew. And now we have this gap here where our cake slice used to be. And we can see that inside part of our cake right here. I'm going to take a break from drawing my cake for a second. And I am going to finish drawing the plate in my cake stand. So coming out from the side, I'm going to do a big curvy shape that is going to meet up on the other side. I want my cake plate to have some little decorations on it. So I'm going to do a big bumpy line with a bunch of U shapes. So my cake stand has some frills on it. And the ones that I'm drawing towards the center are going to be a lot bigger than the one that I have closer to that side. As my design is going back into space back there, things are going to look smaller than they do when they are up in the front and we can see them straight on. There we go. I want my cake stand to have 
some height to it. So I'm going to draw two straight lines coming down from the center and I am going to draw a little platform for that to be on. So I have another little smile line there and then another oval for that to be resting on. Now right now my cake and my plate are floating in space so I'm going to add a table. You can decide where you want to put your table. I think I'm going to draw the line right here. Once I hit the edge of my drawing, I'm going to bounce over and continue my line on the other side. I don't want to draw over anything that I've already drawn. Now that everything is sketched out, I can start to add some details. So maybe I want a little frilly design where my cake is sitting. So I'm going to draw a little wavy line there. I can also decorate my cake and design the inside. So since we can see the inside where this slice was taken out, I can decide what kind of cake I want it to be. Does it have frosting inside? Does it have a filling in the middle? It's totally up to you what kind of delicious dessert you'd like to create. I am going to draw a little diagonal line up here to create a layer of frosting on the top. And then I'm drawing that same angled line in the center two times so I can add either a filling or another layer of frosting in the center. So I have cake, cake, filling, and frosting. I'm also going to erase this bottom edge line so that really helps it look like my cake is missing a slice there. Now I'm going to go around and add some different frosting designs. I want there to be frosting going around the edge of my cake. So I'm going to replace that oval that I drew to start with this kind of double bumpy line that is bumpy along the bottom and along the top. And as I am curving around those edges, I did let my bumpy lines get a little bit smaller to try and help that illusion that our cake is three-dimensional. All right, so I have a nice frosting detail around the top. I think I'm going to do that same thing along the bottom. Now on the bottom, you're not gonna see all of it. So it's just going to end around that side edge there. But on the top, since we can see that whole top layer of the cake, you can see it travel all the way around. I'm going to have it come back on this side. Maybe you want to add candles to your cake if it's a birthday cake. Maybe you want some fruit or something else on top. I'm going to draw some drippy frosting coming down from the sides. And then I think I'm going to draw some big dollops of frosting on the top. And like I said, you can decorate your cake however you would like. You can make your dream birthday cake here. It does not have to look like mine. I think that looks pretty good for my cake. I'm going to make that middle section frosting, so I'm not going to draw anything in there, but if you want yours to have a filling, you can draw like fruit or sprinkles or something else inside there if you would like. And now that my cake is all finished and my platter is all finished, I can decide if I want to decorate my background at all. I think I'm just going to do some stripes on my tablecloth down here. And then I am going to leave the background white for now. Now next week we are going to trace our pictures and we are going to color them in. So once you're finished sketching out your cake and sketching out your backgrounds, you can leave it until next time. So you can save your project in your art folder. You do not need to hand anything in today. Just make sure you keep your paper safe until then. Try your best, have fun, and get creative while you're drawing your delicious cakes, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!